That's the second tank I just hooked up. It's on its own drain. Attached to his own bell siphon. I don't know if you can see the water. I tried to, um, I haven't tried to connect the two tanks and they'll just one, but I thought I could because it's not exactly level. First bell siphon I made works pretty good. Uh, only Kahlo in this one. And this one will be whatever we want. <clears throat> um, I need a little bit more cinder probably, but I did put in some Chinese cabbage and some white cabbage seeds and we'll see what happens in a couple of days. Just got this one done today. Today's what, October 3rd? Yeah. And that's my water now. Yep. Ugly, horrible. But in a few days I'll do a video comparison. Yeah. Should be cleaner because I have these two big grow beds going now. And uh, extra vents. Because the basic rules of a bell siphon is you need 290 degrees, so one coming out there and the other one going back there. But this one has one, two, three, 90 degrees. This is just a vent pipe um, to basically add water as it's draining. I mean, I'll add air so that gravity is not so inhibited. Or air force, however you want to, the air, the pressure of the air, whatever, however you want to, if I can think about it. but. It's just there to compensate for the gravity that's being pulled out by the wa uh, for the water force that's being pulled out, and that's um my other pipe. Yeah, I have it zip tied together because I didn't uh, glue it, and one night I came home and it was detached. So hopefully it won't detach again. But shit, oh well, if it does, it does, right? And <clears throat> this is my fried growing out pod. And AKA salad station for obvious reasons. Greens, I enjoyed those tonight, by the way, and they were very enjoyable. Uh, Bell siphon. This was actually this used to belong to a friend of mine. Uh, she sold it to me. Thank you. Uh, strawberries. We had one strawberry from it, and other than that, it's just been kind of sitting there, um, waiting for more to pop out or more cakes from that bastard or something. And Roma tomato vine. All that white stuff is uh, Permagard, mixed it with water. And then I kind of just painted it on the leaves to keep the bug action down. But I think I need to utilize it as a dust to see what happens. Um, and I don't know if you can see it, but there's our first tomato growing. Um, Japanese cucumber vine right next to it. Uh, there's one, there's a fruit growing. And there's actually one at everywhere the leaf breaks, uh, branches out. Yeah, one, two, everywhere you see a flower, there's a fruit growing. So, to me, that's fucking great. Yeah, it's a Walmart seedling. I bought it for a dollar. And the fact that it already gave me one gigantic cucumber that I ate. Yeah, I ate it with the greens from over there. Um, paid itself off already. Paid for itself. So, yeah. And so, yeah, salad station. Follow station, and we'll see what's going on. Go, we'll see what'll be happening in this one. I mean, I basically added it because my water was just really cloudy. And these are where my fry grow out. Yep, in that dirty, ugly water. I should do a water exchange, but you know, tilapia is tilapia, man. We don't need to worry about it till you're getting ready to eat it. So. follow the water. I uh, used half inch pipe with a one inch drain. Oh, this one the second is going to kick in. And it already started draining. It's the drain on the left side. As the water starts to flow faster, obviously, the stronger the water pressure, yeah? 
and Bell Siphon technology, it's really nothing new. I believe the ancient Greeks and Romans or utilized this to uh, transport water to different areas. Um, it's basically creating a vacuum and based on a predetermined level of what is called your standpipe, that's what determines the height of the water. You see now this bed is almost dry. But yeah, basically that's my home aquaponic setup. Um, could probably grow more food than I need, but you can never go wrong with a lot of food. Alright, mahalo for watching. Aloha.